Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an airfoil on SOLIDWORKS. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go on insert and then curve and then curve through XYZ points. So over here we need to actually, if we, if we browse here, because it accepts two different types of files. So we got a text file and then this. So we're going to find some coordinates online. So the website that I use is um, a place called airfoils to airfoilstools.com and if you just search on it you you can get all sorts of equations for different airfoils. So if you want you can look at the one done by NASA. And so if you want to actually um, download the coordinates of this um, you can go on um, Selig format dat file. It's the dat file that we want. So if we go on this, it opens it up on here. And obviously, we can't just put this into SolidWorks. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to copy paste everything. So if we copy paste this into an Excel spreadsheet, and just uh, yeah, just say like that. We'll see that we're going to have one column sharing two coordinates, and we don't want that. But we want to separate it, so if we so just select the data, go on data, and then text to columns. We want it to be delimited. Um, space. Yeah. Next. And then finish. Okay. So. So okay, so this part messed up a little bit, so I'll just change that. So one that's just one. Okay. Um but we also need a Z coordinate, so what we're gonna have to do is well actually first let me just transfer this all to the A column. Okay, actually no, first let's put in a Z Z coordinate, so you prefer zero and just copy that down to whatever you need it to be. Then you can just take all of this. I, I don't think you actually have to do this, but it looks a lot nicer when you save the dat file. Just so it just so it all looks organized. Okay, so now you want to go on File, Save As. Okay, save on your desktop, whatever, and you want to save it as a. It's down here. It's called a tab, a text tab delimited file. That's what you want. I'll just call this chords. Okay, so that's on my desktop. So if I go back into SolidWorks and I click on Browse uh, and change this to say text files. So just to save some time, I've already got the um, the line drawn on my th my um, my plane here. Um, it, it does tend to glitch out when you plug in the coordinates and if it does like say file not supported which which is not meant to say that just keep on like saving your documents reload your thing and it, it, it worked for me so when you, once you get the actual shape you want to transfer it onto an actual plane you want to create a new plane and just transfer the coordinates on there's like a um, thing you can do on here um, but once you've done that, you can just extrude. It's as simple as just extruding it outwards. And I'll roll back. But um, this is what I did. And you just extrude out the curve. Once you've uh, once you've done that, you can transfer this. You can do the CFD on here if you want, or if you want to save your, you know, your computer. You want to. You could do it on some other website or software. But yeah, that's pretty much it.